Water is such a beautiful piece of creation. It's cool to the touch. It's refreshing and restoring. It makes up and sustains so much of life here on Earth. It's no surprise that there are so many biblical images that have to do with water. It's something that we know in our very being. Today, we'll think about what does it mean to long for living water, the water that Christ offers the world and to us for restoration and renewal. Thanks for joining us for Work in Progress. We're so glad you're here. We turn now to the story of Jesus and the woman of Samaria at the well. It comes from the Gospel of John chapter 4. Listen now for where the Spirit is calling to us in the text today. So he came to a Samarian city called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired out by his journey, was sitting by the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water and Jesus said to her, give me a drink. His disciples had gone to the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, how is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jews do not share things in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, sir, you have no bucket and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob who gave us the well and with his sons and flocks drank from it? Jesus said to her, everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. But those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, sir, give me this water so that I may never be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I love this encounter between Jesus and the woman of Samaria. He says, give me a drink. Give me a drink. It's such a, a human question for Jesus to ask. I'm thirsty. Will you give me something to drink? This woman, the woman of Samaria, is here in the middle of the day noon when it's hot and dry and no one else is probably there. Scholars have suggested that she is probably a woman on the margins of this community. She's there because no one else is there. And Jesus asks her for a drink. I'm thirsty, he says. Can you give me something to drink? She's also a Samaritan a woman of the community that did not get along well with the Jews. She says, Jews do not share things in common with Samaritans. These communities, the Jews and the Samaritans have been separated and divided by long standing wounds. And Jesus asks her for a drink. I'm thirsty, he says, can you give me something to drink? And then Jesus tells her about living water, water that if you drink of it, you will never go thirsty. You'll never long for water, for something to drink again. I think that the living water that Jesus offers us is water that heals our individual and collective wounds, heals the woman from her place on the margins of society heals the divide between the Jews and the Samaritans, heals our individual and collective wounds. 
We know something about wounded life. We long for living water to heal the divides that we face today and to heal the wounds that we face in our individual lives as well. Jesus says, come, I will give you living water and you will never be thirsty again. Thanks be to God. Amen. In a wasteland all alone The trees have long since gone from me But I carry on the baggage Strong on the shoulders underneath The heat rages on the desert song makes life so cloudy But I can see the end, my friend And maybe then I'll see clearly Living water, living word, we pray. We are thirsty for waters of healing, for waters of justice, for waters that renew. We are thirsty. Our mouths are dry, our throats are parched. Our tongues ache to be cooled. We are thirsty. So we come to the well where we meet you, where we are changed, where we ask you for a drink. We are thirsty. Will you give us something to drink? Fill our cup with water that restores, that heals our collective wounds, that cools our broken hearts. Give us water that springs up within us so that all who are thirsty may be quenched, so that justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. We are thirsty, O oh God. Fill our cup. Amen. Beloved, go out into the world to be a spring of living water. Water that heals, water that renews, 
water that restores. And as you go, may the grace of Jesus, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. Heart is whole.